Hey, what's up and happy Halloween. Today we're going to be looking at a lot of different little Halloween stuff. And I know normally I go all out on Halloween. I decorate the background. I wear some crazy costume. But I've had a lot going on in my life this year. So bear with me. I'm kind of half-assing it right now. But what I did do was I reached into one of my costume boxes and I grabbed the first few things that I put my hand on. So uh, I'm going to wear this cat mask. Uh with a clown nose okay and I got this wig so uh perfect hey what's up now some people like to dress sexy for Halloween so why not go as a sexy ghost it's a good way to you know be sexy but also not so sexy. Not as sexy as this ghost though. Oh yeah. Now before you guys get too excited, I found this one on Reddit. So let me read you the Reddit post first. Couldn't get one this year, so here's my Halloween costume from last year, male 20. It was funny getting compliments or gross comments from guys and responding thanks in my deepest man voice. I swear one guy jumped five feet straight up. Oh, doing some justice for women. Scaring the shit out of perverts on Halloween. I don't know what this guy's dressed as, but I like it. You're just a weird baby. Weird floating baby head. That is actually a very easy do-it-yourself. First of all, you have to go to like a Toys R Us and look like a real creep buying a children's doll. No, I swear it's for my niece. And then you just rip off its arms and glue them to your face. That is actually really easy. I should have just did that this year instead of this shit. But at least I have this nose I can honk every time I make a funny joke. So I won't be honking it ever. <laughs> this person went as a fire. Did you just hang out in the fireplace the entire night? just for effect. That's actually a really cool costume. Here's a Burt Reynolds costume. It's Burt from Burt and Ernie and Burt Reynolds. Beautiful. A Dora the Explorer costume. This man dressed like Dora the Explorer. It's clever, creative, but also very creepy to see a man that age dressed as Dora the Explorer. I just imagine this guy on the front porch handing out candy to children dressed like this. Parents are like, uh, you know, we're not gonna eat that candy, okay? Don't worry, mommy's gonna buy you some other candy. Throw that one out. I already talked to my wife about when our kids have candy. We're just gonna pretend like certain candy is poison. Like, oh, all the Reese's Cups have been tainted with razor blades. You can't have those ones. Sorry, honey. No, they're not good for you, and I'll take all the Reese's for myself. Here's a woman who went as a dandelion. Blow me. How about I rip you by the root out of my grass and then stomp on you? How about that? I fucking hate dandelions. They're everywhere in my town. This woman went as Laura Craft. Where did she get noodles like that? I would play that video game and watch that movie. For Halloween, our principal shaved his head and dressed like Gru. All the teachers were minions. Yeah, but you know there was a couple teachers there that were party poopers like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not dressing up. And here's a couple girls who went as flashers. Or you could go as Sims characters taking showers. It, it all kind of works. But this also works as a couple's costume. The couple that flashes together stays together. That's why me and my wife always run through Walmart parking lots flashing people. Because that's why it's true love. <laughs> oh, Colonel in the Chicken. That's a good couple's costume. Until the Colonel cuts your head off and plucks your feathers out and deep fries you and sells you or just eats you. Ice, ice baby. I love it. And not just because I'm having a baby suit. I, I, I love it. Next year, this is the costume I'm doing. Crikey, Halloween. Oh, Steve Irwin and an alligator. It just gives you a great excuse to tackle your wife and pry her mouth open. No, look, we got to do it because people expect this from our costume. Just shove her to the ground and be like, look, I got a crikey. Sting a finger at her butthole. Uh. And I uh, just want to point out that my Australian accent is on point. So don't even leave comments about it. It's, it's perfect. Oh. Oh, oh, that's better. <laughs> Sorry. My hair's all over the place today. And here's a couple of kids dressed like Wayne's World. That is amazing. This poor child crying in the background, though. He's like, I don't even know what Wayne's World is. Just sit here and take the picture. This girl went as a overtired mother. You fucking nailed it. 
even to puke on you. But this kid here wins Halloween costume of the year. This kid went as a fart. Oh, and he even has like a little air horn there to fart at people. Well, if you really want to be authentic, just eat a lot of beans and go around farting. Literally just fart. Wear your costume and fart all around town. Authentic. Oh, that's a great costume though. And this one is also adorable. This little girl dressed up as her grandma. Okay, that kind of just warms my heart. That's amazing. Oh, this chihuahua looks terrified. And you know, Halloween decorations are a very important part of Halloween. Here's a do-it-yourself Halloween decoration. What the fuck? Holy shit, that's terrifying. Again, the awkward moment when you have to go buy 50 baby dolls. No, I just, I'm spoiling my niece, I swear. I'm not a creep. I'm not gonna cut their bodies in half and make them into some weird centipede doll. Don't worry. Sir, I didn't even ask you if you're gonna do that. Here's a great one, making the bush eat a child. I might try that one one year, actually. Looks like it'd be pretty easy to pull off. Though so I'm gonna use a real kid. A Freddy Krueger toilet seat. Oh, just to terrify your guests if you're having like a party or something. Freddy Krueger's gonna molest you while you take a poop. Or just draw some spiders on your toilet paper. Cause there's nothing like having a spider crawl up your poop chute. Here's someone who did a mooning pumpkin display. I love this one. I love that they added the curly little butt hair on there too. It must be pretty hard to find a pumpkin that big with an ass crack. Going around all your local pumpkin patches, going to your grocery stores trying to find a pumpkin with a butt crack. I need a pumpkin that is shaped like a butt. I need it with a big, big ass. I swear I'm not gonna have sex with it. Here's a frightening pumpkin. The Wi-Fi is down. Oh, that is scary. I can't even work without Wi-Fi. That is frightening. Here's one that might actually scare more of you. Oh, my costume's supposed to be on it. Here's one that might actually scare more of you. Student loans. <laughs> and if you get a pumpkin with a bit of a defect, you can always turn that defect into a cat's butthole. This is what we call creativity. Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Here's my favorite thing I've seen this Halloween.